This key. Now there I use the side D right here. It's like the high D but without the octave key. <clears throat> now that now that's a little flat for me. And you can hear it um, when I when I play with that side D, but the reason I'm using that is because this tune's a pretty quick tune. It's if you ever hear the uh, the, the Cold Train version with Kenny Burrell or or the um, the Brecker one I have, it, it's pretty quick, like that fast. Okay, so when it's going that fast. Um, it's it's a lot easier to use this side D, and it's a little flat, but you don't notice it when you're going at that fast tempo. So um, that's why I use that. Um, next part. Again, I use the bis key, and then the side D. <laughs> Um, in that part, it just starts on a G and goes up the G minor tonality. G, B flat, D, F. And ends on an E flat. Um, so when I'm, I'm playing it, I play it slow and I think about those things. When I get to the G, I think I'll go up G minor. And that helps me to remember that part of the tune. Um, the next part was a, actually the next part was trickier for me to get down because I had trouble hearing that part. And, and earlier I said I play it slow. I try to get it in my ear. And I've said this in other lessons. When when I get something in my ear, when I can sing a tune, usually I can play it. Even if I forget it, if I can sing it, I can figure it out really quick. I can hum the melody or think of the melody in my head, um, and I can find the note. So if, if I forget part of the melody, I just hum it a little bit, and then bam, I have it. Um, if I can't sing it, man, it is so hard for me to figure out the melody if I've forgotten it, because I can't, the pitches aren't up here. So this part right here... <laughs> 